Hey, in this video, I wanna talk about housing and affordability in certain areas of the country. It's hard, it's hard to be a homeowner. And it may be that that's the area that you wanna stay in. You've got your friends, you've got your family there, you've got your job and you don't wanna relocate. I've got older videos on this, but I thought I'd get a new one out. I'm buying with a friend or family member. It can have some benefits. It can also have uh, some cons to it. Some of the benefits are you're combining your buying potential. The more income, the more home uh, that you can buy and that you can afford. Uh, it could get you into areas that maybe you couldn't uh, get into. Some of the cons are that you're financially tied uh, to a friend or a family member. So have the conversation up front of, hey, what happens if I get a job transfer? What happens if I lose my job? Who's gonna do all the yard work, by the way? beautiful flowers, eh? Um, <laughs> last year, I really thought we'd have to take this damn bush down. Um, you also want to um, lay out everything, um, all the bad, uh, to make certain that you're not going to get into a situation where you're going to mess with uh, the relationship between your friend or your family member. And you want to confer with an attorney on how best to hold title. Uh, and you also want to know um, your friend's uh, credit and your friend's finances. Because if you're gonna get into financial bed with someone, you wanna make certain that they're not going to screw you. Unfortunately, with with money, I've, I've seen many things happen that even with family members that um, would, would shock people. Uh, so if this is something that you're considering, uh, reach out uh, or DM us if you're finding this on one of my social channels and I'll be happy to send you our uh, checklist on questions that you should ask and things that you should be doing if you're considering buying a home with a friend or a family member. As always, thanks for watching.